It's only round four of this thrilling fight, but I think it's safe to say Emil Muttonfist Spiro, possibly the greatest boxer since the Manassas Muller, will take the day. Dabrowski is exhausted now, and Spiro delivering expertly has landed some devastating blows. And that's the end of the round. There's a massive crowd here at the Polo Grounds for this magnificent bout, the majority rooting for New York's own Spiro. Spiro's in his corner, getting advice from his coach, Charles Dinkins. And there's the bell to start round five. Spiro charges into the ring, and oh, he lands a solid left, and another, and Spiro has Dabrowski on the ropes. Dabrowski can't recover from this opening. Dabrowski, oh, Spiro strikes again strongly. Dabrowski is on the mat. The referee is counting. And that's the match. Emil Spiro with his 10th consecutive win is on the fast track to becoming the next middleweight champion. You gotta watch the hits you take, but your offense is just great. Emil, these fists of yours is made of gold. Geez, after this, you gonna soar, em? I'm telling you. I don't know. You and Ma and everybody keep telling me how great I am in the ring, and I know I'm okay, but I just don't want to fight no more. I feel like I've been fighting all my life. Sometimes I think maybe these hands was meant for something better. What, you want to be a baseball player? No, Uncle Charlie, I, I just Come mean... on, Emil. You don't think these are the hands of a born boxer? You gotta be crazy. You know, God gives you a gift, you gotta accept it. No two ways about it. Your mother, when she seen you coming out of her, she thought to herself this was the awfulest thing ever happened to anybody. But when she seen you grow up, she realized you was a miracle. A miracle. What do you mean talking about you want to be something else in life? You might as well say you don't want to be your own mother's son. But Uncle Charlie, a, a boxer's something I ain't. What'd your mother do without you, huh? Without your boxing. And your baby sister, who has a chance to get out of here because of you. You're the breadwinner. I know it's tough. I know it's real tough. But I seen you deal with worse than this. Growing up the only white kid in Harlem, that's tough. What happened with your pops, that's tough. But this, this is small potatoes. I'll always be your Uncle Charlie, kid. But now I'm your coach. And I'm telling you, you gotta get out of this slump. Accept what you was made for. Stay out there and fight. For your mother, your sister, your Uncle Charlie. For crying out loud, kid, you're the first winner this family ever had. All right, all right, Uncle Charlie. Jeez. You got a fight coming up next weekend in Staten Island. Now, it's a real important fight, but don't get too worried about it. The guy you're fighting is practically a welterweight. Then why the heck am I fighting him for? An Italian friend of mine downtown set it up. Don't worry, why. All you need to know is that this friend of ours is uh, gonna make us a lot of money. <laughs> oh, oh, come on, Uncle Charlie. I, I don't feel so right about working for no goon types. It's crummy business, and you know... I whoa, gonna... whoa, whoa. Who said anything about goons, huh? I say Italian, you think goomba. Paying for your sister's college is what you should be thinking about. Yeah, sure, Uncle Charlie, sure. Ma! Can't you see I don't want none of this stuff? Come on, baby. You gotta eat for the Danny, night. could you cut the racket? Your Uncle Charlie be over at five. Uh, you better start your morning run. I ain't gonna. I, can't you see I hate this? Raw eggs, bacon, running? And for what? To beat some pipsqueak black and blue in front of a bunch of rich goons? I tell ya. I ain't never heard a boy complain more than you, Emil. You got a gift that other people kill for, and all you do uh, is I don't go need another lecture, Ma. First I got Uncle Charlie in my back, and now I can't even relax in my own home without... All you know, I'm saying, Emil, is that we got to be thankful for what we got. And you shouldn't look a gift horse in the mouth. God gave Ma, you this... Ma, please. For crying out loud, I'm tired of hearing about what God gave me. Now don't be like that, Em. Just ask when you need a little help. I can beat a man to a pulp, but... Can't cut my own pancakes. Now, now. There we are. Num num. What would you do without me, baby? Ma, Christ. Don't you take the Lord's name in vain. I ain't no kid, Ma. All right, listen, I, I gotta run. Don't be out all day like every yeah, other... Yeah, like every other day. I know, I know. Five o'clock. Your Uncle Charlie said... Fine. Thanks for the breakfast, Ma. Bye, Ma. Good, 
I don't want to be a pilot. I don't want to be a fighter. Don't want to be a fighter. Don't want to be a fighter. The kid's got the meat hooks of a murderer. Fantastic fighter. I'm delighted we've settled our arrangements. <laughs> He's a great kid too, Marcello. A good boy. Watches out for his family. I'm sure he'll be thankful for how you're helping him out. You make him a good manager, Charlie. He's lucky to have you. Hands like shovels that kid's got. We had a little trouble getting him past the commission, what with him not having to wear gloves and all. If anybody knew... He hits odd with them meatballs, no doubt about it. But don't you worry about anything no more. We'll take care of any problems with the commission. You're late, Emil. Mr. Spiro himself. Put her there, chum. Them things is pure gold. 24 carat. <laughs> nice to meet you, sir. Call me Uncle Martello, kid. For Christ's sake, we're like family now, eh? Hey, family I got. I don't know I want to be a part of your family. Em, don't you speak that way to Mr. Pianta. He's here to help you out, and I won't have Charlie, you Charlie, Charlie, please. No harm done. The kid's a little bit of a hothead is all. That's good. We can build on that. I'm sorry, Marcello. I don't know I'll be in my room. Stupid Italian goon. Put me up there to bash some pipsqueak for his rich goomba buddies. I ain't no goon toy for them guidos to show off. I ain't no circus freak. Ain't nobody's chump. The hell with their stupid, crummy, guinea fight. Uncle Charlie put me up to doing this. It's not like me. I'm not a boxer. This is stupid. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not sure where I'm gonna go with this one. I don't, it's not. It's not me. was that, Em? Can you tell me, please, what the hell that was? He's, he's left hook. Uh, I don't know, Uncle Charlie. It just came out don't of Don't you even, you little son of a... My God, I'm gonna have to screw my head back on. I'm so angry. Mary, mother of Joseph, unbelievable! Uncle Charlie, please. Don't you, Uncle Charlie, me. You think I'm that stupid, Emil? You think Marcello Pianta is that stupid? You think they don't know what you've done out there? Oh, Jesus, Em. I don't know what you was thinking when you let that chump- oh, Charlie, come on. Every fighter loses now and then. I, just just tell him, you know, every fighter loses- To a little half-pint monkey in trunks who weighs no more than half of you? You want me to believe- Christ, Emil, I could kill you right now myself. Just calm down. I told you. I don't want to be a fighter. I got other plans, Charlie. I, mean, I know what I want. I mean, I want Shut up, be... Emil. I mean it. I can't stand the sight of you right now. What are we going to tell him? You ain't going to tell him nothing. I'll tell him... I'll... I'll tell him something, kid. I'll think of something. Get your clothes on and get ready to go. I'll take care of things here. That was a real bad turn you done us, kid. A real bad turn. I'm sorry, Uncle Charlie. Look, I'll figure something out. Spiro's getting away! Danny, run out back! He's over back, I see him in the alley! He's over here, he ran over this way! Remember your, Remember sister's, your college. sister's college! Listen to your Listen uncle, Charlie! Yo, Taxi! Welcome to the family, kid. I don't want to be a part of this! Get him! Get him! Get him. You're the breadwinner, Emil! Nom, 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 I don't want to be a fighter! Be a fighter! Em, you in there? Ma! What are you doing up? 
go to bed. For Pete's sake, Emil. Shh. What? Did you just come in through that window? Jeez, you're gonna break your neck one day the way you're... Ma, please. I, I gotta run. I mean, I, I gotta go. But baby, it's late. How was the fight? Listen, I, I can't talk about it. I gotta go. Gee, you're acting funny. It's 11.30 on a Saturday. Where are you gonna go anyways? Take this, Ma. Take it and hide it. Oh my God! Where did you get this money? Did you... Emil, did you do something illegal? Don't be stupid. It's from that crummy boxing match. But you gotta hide it. You gotta put it somewhere secret. And if them Goombas and Uncle Charlie show up, you gotta tell them you ain't seen hide a hair of me. Got it? What are you talking about? What happened? Where's Charlie? J just hide it. It's for Janie's college. College? She's only five years old. Wait, Emil! Shut up, Ma! Cripes! You want him to find me? Piero, get in the way! Danny, run out back! Get a deal on the roof! Get him! Get him now! Look, he's coming down! Go! No, no, your way! Hey, hey, looky here. Sleeping Beauty's awake. Have a nice nap, sweet prince. Emil, Emil, Emil. What are we gonna do with you? You crazy kid, you just don't play well with others, do you? I tell you, that was quite the blow you dealt us. I'm very proud of you. Yes, sir, I am. You're a real tough kid, Emil. But that is highly unfortunate for you. You see, some Russian, uh, associates of ours was helping us drum up a lot of bets from dingbats who liked that sad sap you was fighting this evening. Everybody should have made quite a bit of money here, yourself included, Emil. But your shenanigans cost us all a pretty penny. But it's gonna cost you a little more, my friend. You bamboozled us. Now you got a lesson to be learned. Your Uncle Charlie, he ain't too happy with you. No, he's very upset. I think he might blame you for the trouble he got now with his kneecaps. Don't ask me why, Emil, but he seemed very irate about you. And your ma! Boy, was she ever disappointed in her son. Her stupid, bulbous-fisted freak of a son. Don't worry, kid. We ain't done nothing to her. She very kindly gave us back the money you stole from us. But she did a little crying thinking what we was gonna do to you. Now, Emil. We can't have punk boxers like yourself playing us for chumps without teaching a lesson. You understand that, right? I mean, everybody'd think we was milk toast if we just let bygones be bygones in this here situation. It ain't nothing personal, just business. But I'm afraid it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt pretty bad, I think. <clears throat> That'll teach you to mess with the Pianta family. See if you ever step into a ring again. <laughs>